The ESP32 Marauder is a versatile piece of hardware designed to transform your ESP32 Room 32 microcontroller into a powerful tool for Wi-Fi security assessments and more. With its robust capabilities, it turns the ESP32 Room 32 into a potent tool for Wi-Fi security assessments, making it an essential device for anyone interested in network security. This comprehensive guide will walk you through each step of setting up your own ESP32 Marauder, ensuring you have all the knowledge you need to get started. We will start from the basics and assume no prior experience, making this guide perfect for beginners and experts alike. The ESP32 Room 32 is a popular microcontroller board widely used for its versatility and performance. It's particularly known for its Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capabilities, which make it ideal for a wide range of applications. Combining it with the ESP32 Marauder firmware unlocks a world of possibilities, allowing you to explore and experiment with Wi-Fi networks in ways you couldn't before. This powerful combination allows you to delve into Wi-Fi networks, perform security assessments, and understand the intricacies of network security. This guide is designed to be accessible to everyone, regardless of your technical background. We'll use simple language and clear instructions to ensure that you can follow along easily and successfully. Whether you're a student, hobbyist, or security enthusiast, you'll find this guide easy to follow and incredibly informative. So, let's get started on your journey into the fascinating world of Wi-Fi security with the ESP32 Marauder. With this guide, you'll be well on your way to mastering the art of network security and making the most out of your ESP32 Room 32. Before we begin, let's gather the necessary materials. You will need an ESP32 Room 32 development board. This board is the heart of our project. Ensure you have a USB cable to connect it to your computer. Next, you'll need a computer with an internet connection. This is essential for downloading the required software. The software is free and readily available online. We'll guide you through the download process. Finally, a breadboard and some jumper wires are optional but useful. These will come in handy if you want to connect external components later on. Once you have these items ready, we can proceed to the software setup. Now let's download the necessary software tools to get started with our project. We'll begin by installing the essential software tools that will enable us to program and interact with our ESP32 Room 32 board. First, you'll need to download the Arduino Integrated Development Environment, commonly known as the Arduino IDE. This is the primary software we'll use to write, compile, and upload code to our ESP32 Room 32 board. Head over to the official Arduino website and download the version of the Arduino IDE that is compatible with your operating system, whether it's Windows, MacOS, or Linux. Once the Arduino IDE is installed, the next step is to download the ESP32 board definitions. These definitions are crucial as they allow the Arduino IDE to recognize and communicate with your ESP32 board. Without these definitions, the IDE won't be able to compile and upload code to the ESP32. You can easily add these board definitions through the Arduino IDE's board manager. Simply open the board manager, search for ESP32, and install the package. The final piece of software you'll need is the ESP32 Marauder firmware. This firmware is essential for the specific functionalities we want to implement on our ESP32 board. You can find the ESP32 Marauder firmware on its official GitHub repository. Navigate to the repository page to download the latest release. After downloading, unzip the files to a convenient location on your computer. Make sure to keep track of where you save these files as you'll need to access them later. Now that we have all the necessary software tools downloaded and installed, we are ready to move on to the next step, preparing our ESP32 Room 32 board for programming and deployment. Before flashing the ESP32 Marauder firmware, we need to prepare our ESP32 Room 32 board. This preparation involves a few essential steps to ensure everything goes smoothly. First, connect your ESP32 Room 32 to your computer using the USB cable. Make sure the connection is secure and the cable is in good condition to avoid any interruptions during the process. Once connected, check that your system properly recognizes the device. 
You should see a notification or an entry in your device manager indicating that the ESP32 room 32 is detected. Next, open the Arduino IDE, which is the integrated development environment we'll be using. Navigate to the Tools menu, then to the Board sub-menu and select the correct board. Choose the ESP32 Room 32 option from the list. This step is crucial as it ensures the IDE uses the correct settings for your specific board, which is necessary for successful communication and programming. After selecting the board, you need to choose the correct port. Go back to the Tools menu and find the Port submenu. Select the communication port that your ESP32 is connected to. This is how the IDE will communicate with your board during the flashing process. On Windows, this port is usually identified by a COM port number such as COM3 or COM4. On Linux and MacOS, it will appear as a slash dev slash TTUSB number. Make sure to select the correct one to avoid any issues. Now that you have selected the correct board and port, your ESP32 Room 32 is fully prepared. We are now ready to proceed with flashing the ESP32 Marauder firmware. This preparation ensures a smooth and successful flashing process. Section 5 Flashing ESP32 Marauder Firmware Navigate to the ESP32 Marauder Firmware folder you downloaded earlier. Inside, you'll find a file named esp 32 marauderino Open this file with the Arduino IDE. Click the Verify button in the Arduino IDE. This checks the code for errors without uploading it to the board. Once the verification is successful, click the Upload button. This will flash the ESP32 Marauder firmware onto your ESP32 Room 32 board. The upload process might take a few minutes. Once it's complete, you should see a done uploading message in the Arduino IDE console. Congratulations! You've successfully flashed the ESP32 Marauder firmware onto your ESP32 Room 32 board. Section 6. Troubleshooting your setup. Sometimes things might not go as smoothly as planned. If you encounter any issues during the flashing process, don't worry. Here are a few troubleshooting tips. First, double check that you've selected the correct board and port in the Arduino IDE. Ensure your ESP32 Room 32 is properly connected to your computer. Try a different USB cable if necessary. If the issue persists, try restarting both your computer and the Arduino IDE. Sometimes a simple restart can resolve communication issues. If you're still facing problems, refer to the ESP32 Marauder GitHub repository for more detailed troubleshooting steps and community support. Section 7. Verifying your installation. Now that you've flashed the firmware, it's time to verify if everything is working correctly. Open a serial monitor application on your computer. Set the baud rate to 115,200. Power on your ESP32 Marauder. You should see boot messages appearing on the serial monitor. This indicates that the firmware is running and the ESP32 Marauder is functioning correctly. You can further test the functionality by connecting to the ESP32 Marauder's Wi-Fi network. The network name and password are usually displayed in the serial monitor during boot. Once connected, you can access the ESP32 Marauder's web interface for more advanced configuration and usage. Section 8. Potential Applications With your ESP32 Marauder up and running, the possibilities are endless. You can use it to analyze Wi-Fi networks, identify security vulnerabilities, and learn about Wi-Fi protocols. It's a valuable tool for security researchers, penetration testers, and anyone interested in Wi-Fi security. You can explore different modules and features included in the ESP32 Marauder firmware, Experiment with different attacks and techniques to understand how they work. Always remember to use your knowledge responsibly and ethically. The ESP32 Marauder is a powerful tool that can be used for both educational and professional purposes. By understanding its capabilities and limitations, you can harness its full potential for good. Section 9. Ethical Considerations While the ESP32 Marauder is a valuable tool for learning and research, it's crucial to use it ethically and responsibly. Unauthorized access to Wi-Fi networks is illegal and unethical. Always obtain explicit permission before performing any security assessments. 
Use your knowledge and skills to improve Wi-Fi security, not to compromise it. Share your findings with the community and contribute to a safer online environment. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Use the ESP32 Marauder wisely and ethically to make the digital world a safer place.